Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Old Car Guy. We're just heading back to the campground from being in town for the day. And I've come across a new noise in the truck. So I'm not really sure if uh, this clip is actually going to make it into a video, but if it does, well, you'll know that we developed an issue. But basically what it is, is I have been able to pinpoint when the noise comes, and that is under very, very light throttle. Let me see if I can make it do it. Give it a little bit of throttle, it goes away. That off. Not sure if you guys can hear that on camera or not, but nevertheless, there is a noise there under very, very moderate throttle. So, if we make it back to the campground, we're going to pop the hood and see if we can pinpoint what the noise is. So we made it back to the campground. We're just popping the hood here and seeing if we can find anything obvious that looks like it might be an issue. I think that clutch is supposed to do that. Power steering pulley looks like it's good. Clutch fan seems like it might be a little bit loose. And the alternator seems tight. So at this point, there's really only two solutions. So one is to take all the belts off and start uh, messing with pulleys, or two, just drive it full throttle everywhere I go. Then it won't be an issue. Anyways, we'll pick back up with this when I get back to the shop. All right, so it's now Monday. The shop is closed because it is a holiday. It's New Brunswick Day. We celebrate the first Monday in August as a long weekend. Some people make fun of us because Canada has too many holidays. Hey, I'm not complaining. At the end of the day, we are here at the shop and we're trying to figure out what that rattling noise is. And uh, we get the hood popped, so let's dive into it and see what we can find out. Like I mentioned before, the noise that we're getting is under very, very light throttle. And I've gone and I've kind of pulled on the pulleys and I really can't find anything that's giving me the issue. However, the clutch on the AC, I mean, it does move and it doesn't make any noise that way. But I'm just wondering if that when that's engaged, if there's something kind of causing a noise in there. So what we may have to do is we may have to unplug it so that it doesn't cycle, or just simply shut it off when it's in the engaged position and see if it does that. Then we'll make sure that it's in the disengaged position and try it again. Um, down here on the power steering pump itself, I can take that whole pulley, just lost my light. I can take that whole pulley and there's quite a bit of end play movement there. Um, and that tells me that there's possibly some wear uh, on that shaft in there that could be making our noise as well so in order to figure out what that one is we'll have to take the power steering belt off and again take it for a drive and see if the noise persists so rather than remove all three belts because that's what you have to do in order to remove the AC and the power steering. The alternator belt runs out front, the power steering runs in the middle, and the AC runs in the back. So what I did was I just loosened the adjustments on the front and back of the AC pump, pushed it forward, and then down on the power steering pump did the same thing. I just pushed it forward so both of the, uh, the belts are loose so they shouldn't be spinning anything. So we're gonna try that and see how we make out testing this one more time.
All right, so we took her for a little rip without power steering, without AC, and the noise is still there. So the last pulley that we have to eliminate everything is the alternator, which is also connected to the clutch fan. So we're gonna remove that, take it for one more rip, and if that doesn't solve it, then we're gonna be back to uh, the drawing board one more time. But let me uh, get that belt off, we'll take it from the drive, and I'll be right back with you. Well, I didn't have to go too far. Um, at least I don't think we had to go too far. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I found. So we got the belt off of the alternator and uh, when I pulled it off, the alternator spun a little bit. And this is what I heard. So it sounds like the bearings are bad in the alternator and that's a pretty good indicator that that was kind of the sound that we were getting. I thought it was a pulley and sure enough it was, it was the alternator. So I guess what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to uh, replace the alternator in Old Dale here. Coincidentally enough, the alternator crapped the bed on the old Mopar, the Chrysler Cordoba that I have. Junior has been driving it a little bit. I've been letting him take it out because I'm not generally around and uh, you know it's getting some use but he said a couple times the battery died on him so we brought it out to the shop one day tested the alternator and the alternator uh, did not pass that test so i've got a new one sitting in the office in there right now we've got to get that swapped out and well wouldn't you know it we're running into the same thing on dale only the alternator still is charging it's just got a bad bearing so looks like we need to find an alternator for dale so i'll go do that and we'll get that replaced and get this thing back on the road So we've got the alternator installed and we've got our tester to make sure that it's charging so we're going to start this thing up and now it's running everything seems to be good it is charging right in the green right where it's supposed to be so we know that everything is going to be fine so now we're going to take it for a drive and make sure everything works good so we're getting this thing out for a test drive and we're just getting up to speed to see if that noise is gone Wait until she goes into lockup. Noise is still there, guys. So it seems as though we've got another issue, but we did find that the alternator had a bad bearing in it. So I guess we're still on the hunt to find out where that noise is. Well, now I'm thinking it could very well be that power steering pump. Anyways, that's for another episode. We'll dive into it again at a later time. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. Ooh, where'd that come from? Thanks so much for joining me on this episode of Old Car Guy. Tune in on Thursdays to the Car Guy and Six Fan Show where myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight six fan, I'll put his link right here. And we talk about cars and we have guests on the show. Occasionally it's a big YouTube name that joins us for some question and answer, we find out a little bit about what they're up to and what they do and how they got there. We're just a couple of car guys talking cars, so if you want to join us Thursday evenings, it alternates between my channel and Street Six Fan every Thursday evening, 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.